Henry has not done it all, but I am super pumped up still. I absolutely am, and good on us. You know, any vegans in the room? Just me, is it? No, you, good on us, yeah. We're downtrodden, would you say? Do you ever go to a barbecue or something and then a function where people make you feel bad because you're a vegan? Christmas time with your family where they don't respect your choices or they do respect your choices but they don't like you for your choices? <laughs> uh, we had a Christmas dinner with my in-laws. My mother-in-law made a big thing when I got there. She said, all the food's vegan tonight because of you. <laughs> my 11-year-old son looked at me and said, Dad, why do you even have to be here? I couldn't have given a shit whether the food was vegan or not. I had a couple of non-sausages in the car. I could have brought them in. I don't care. But they just, uh, the stress. And, and I'm a, I believe I'm a great husband, but I'm not perfect, you know. I'm a vegan. I don't drink. I'm, you know, I'm not hooked on cocaine. But I still do things wrong, which ruin her life, apparently. My wife's life. This is an example. I'm, I'm, I've gone into the e-reader. I'm an e-reader dude, yeah? I'm a Kindle man. Every night I, meet, I read my Kindle before going to sleep. And I thought that wasn't a bad thing to do. One night recently I'm reading my Kindle and my wife turns to me in bed and says, that is ruining my life. <laughs> I said, what? She said, you reading that Kindle is ruining my life. Well, this is the turn up for the books. How is this ruining your life? She said, it's so bright I cannot sleep while you're reading it. I said, oh, have you considered shutting your eyes? <laughs> she said, I can actually see it through my shut eyelids. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm not reading via flare for fuck's sake. <laughs> How about you get some thicker eyelids, you fucking idiot? <laughs> now, let's be honest, I said very little of that. <laughs> Only half that conversation happened. Her half happened. My half didn't happen. I just said, oh, I'm sorry, honey. I don't know how to turn it down. And she showed me how to turn it down. And we t together we turned it down so much I couldn't read it anymore. So I just shut it and just stared at the ceiling. Wondering what it would be like to be hooked on cocaine. <laughs>